Okay, so command normals. Okay. So Julio being a Tekken character has like 50,000 command normals. So I guess we'll just run over them. Go, go over them a little bit. Now I already talked about this double light punch thing and yeah, that's a command normal. No, that's not an overhead, even though it looks like it. Uh, one of the, but you can do follow-ups after this. One of them is medium punch. Note that that is an overhead. That double hand thing is actually an overhead. Yeah, and know how it says two hit combo and not three hit combo yes. because the jabs do not combo. Yes, and there's also an, and uh, that's not special cancelable or anything. So yeah, no luck there. But there is another follow-up you can do. You can do double light punches into medium kick, and that's a lull. And that is special cancelable. So you can do something silly like that, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, go for some silly mix-ups, or you can go for something a little more consistent, you know. But, so this target combo, not too good, but it's nice to remember, I guess. Okay, uh, more stuff. She has, um, forward hard punch, which is this. Yeah, it looks like an overhead, but it's really not. So, uses for this move, um, it is safe on block and on hit. Cool. And you can combo after it. You can link uh, lights after it. Yeah, well, you get the idea. But in general, this move isn't that good. But the important property of this move is that it causes a ground bounce against an airborne airborne opponent. Uh, but normally, you'd figure, okay, I can't anti-air them with that. This is really bad. Yeah, who's going to get hit by that? <laughs> yeah, no one. But the important thing is because you can crumple them, you can ca cause a bounce if you just hit them. Yeah, see? Oh. It's a good way to extend Julia's combos off of this overhead, because this overhead is really important for getting these huge damage combos, but yeah. more on that later. Okay, another move. Oh yeah, the elbow. Uh, every uh, Tekken Julia player probably knows about this. Basically, this is done by pushing uh, forward twice and then hitting medium punch, right before the dash comes out. Yeah. So this move is uh, really good at medium range. It, uh, it's a lot bigger than it seems. And she and it's safe on block and it's safe and it's plus on hit, obviously. So you can do all sorts of funny stuff from it, like yeah, it's a pretty easy way to get combos. So cool. And it's a move you can just kind of flail with at mid range if you want. So hey, pretty good. Another target combo is her forward medium punch, forward medium punch into medium into medium kick. Now this move, you know, the medium kick is cancelable, so it's like you can do stuff like that. But ultimately, this target combo isn't good on the ground. There's like no reason for doing this. However, if you hit an airborne opponent with that, the kick knocks them up in the air. That's really good. Yes. So, and because this combo, this target combo actually does does 140. So it's actually the damage is pretty good. That's actually really above average for yeah, a two hit target it is. combo. Yeah. So the real cheater is Lily though. Lily has a two hit target combo that does 180. But whatever, Lily can suck a dick. She's a cheater. <laughs> so, but yeah, this is really, really good in her um, overhead combos. But other than that, there's really no point. Okay. And another um, follow-up she has to her forward medium punch is forward medium punch and then light punch. And you Ooh, get launcher. and you get like this. Yeah, you get this launcher. And as you can see, the launcher is very slow. It's very. It does combo though, which is nice. But you probably won't be using this too much because it's it's very unsafe. And I and there's really no viable way to really combo into this. Yeah. When you, when you can I guess well maybe I'm just a scrub and I don't know but I, I haven't really found much use for this. Okay. And yeah, I would think that would be really dangerous to poke with. Yeah, it is very dangerous because even yeah. this medium punch itself is is unsafe. So. Okay. And, and you can't you can't cancel the medium punch in anything. So yeah. Okay. And another set of target combos she has is back medium punch. Back medium punch into another medium punch is another launcher. What the? I don't know why they would do this turn, but this one isn't as good because they fly very low to the ground, so it's very hard to get a follow up off of that. And if if you're swinging with something like this, you're better off doing doing this one. Besides, that one does more anyway. Oh yeah, and another follow up she has is back medium punch into light punch, and I don't even know if that's a low or not actually. I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, it is a lull. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, now I know for sure that this is special cancelable, yeah. So I guess you could go for some silly mix-ups or something with this. Some silly loot mix-up, but it doesn't seem that good either. Okay. But now we're getting into the real command normal right here. Forward medium kick. 
Okay, now this is pretty much identical to a regular medium kick, but this is you have to know that this is the forward medium kick is much laggier. Like, here's me pushing regular medium kick, and this is a forward medium kick. It's much laggier. But there are very important properties to this move, because if it hits, you can get these really damaging target combos, which are nice. But, so, a follow-up you can do with this is forward medium kick and off, hard, forward hard punch, forward hard punch. And that's your standard, you know, follow-up from this. The important thing about the third hit of this is that it is special cancelable. So, you can easily, you know, do something like that. So, this is a, pretty much a go-to thing you would do in combos. There you go. So it's a go-to way to start your combos. Because, because this is special cancelable, you can always make this string safe by, by just wind rolling. I mean, I guess you could do that too, but that's less safe. Mm -hmm. Or the easy one is just to cancel into the into her little command grab thingy. And then just charge it. Yeah, just charge it. Come on. And just charge it and back off. <laughs> this is a really good way for Julia to start her, get her pressure going because if you set up the block, it's like, okay, so you notice your attack's not hitting them, so you just back off. Okay, but this is very interesting. Because, now you know every character has a move they can charge and then dash out of it. Julia is unique because this move is cancelled from a dash. This move can only be done from the startup of a dash, which means you can cancel the, the, her charges directly into the elbow. This is amazing for trying to fish for counter hits and stuff. Oh, wow. Because your opponent will try to swing at you, and you hit him with the elbow. Yeah, because once they see the fierce, they're going to be like, okay, the string yeah. is over. Yeah, so like, your opponent, this is a way to lock your opponent down to keep them in the corner. Plus, the elbow is safe on block, so you can continue your pressure in other ways, like when, you know, light, medium, or you can just do more medium kicks. A forward medium kick in particular, because another very good property of the forward medium kick is that on counter hit, okay, I to turn up the block, they get crumpled. Ha! Huh. And this is a very long crumple. You actually have enough time to do a jump in, and it will combo. Oh my. So it's like, you have enough time to do a jump in, and it will combo. Cool. Yeah, that's very good. If, if they are crouching, however, and you get a counter hit, they get stunned for a little less. Oh yeah, they just kind of like, yeah. go stupid. But you still have enough time to, you know, do what you want. Mm. Now normally, my reflexes aren't, aren't good to the point where if I see the counter hit, I'll be able to just jump and hit them, because that's... You have to know you're going to counter hit them in order to pull this off. So most of the time I just poke them, I see the crumple, and then I'm like, oh! You know, I, I start swinging at them some more. Like, like that. So, yeah. So this that's a really important thing to learn how to do with Julia, just can, just canceling her moves into that. So, j just so you can keep your pressure up, especially if your opponent blocks it. Because if they block it, you don't go anywhere, so... Then, yeah, and there's no push blocking in this game, correct. so yeah. So you can really keep your pressure up cool. on your opponent with that. Oh yeah, another um, target combo you can do after your forward medium kick is... Forward medium kick... Yeah, forward medium kick, fierce, and then... And then uh, medium kick again. So forward medium kick, fierce, and then medium kick again. Uh... This isn't too useful, honestly, because this isn't special cancelable or anything, so you're better off doing this target combo instead. A, a, a nice little property, though, is that the final hit of this um, is around plus three on hit, so you could do something funny like... Come on, game. You could do something funny like that and that'll combo, because Julia has one of the fastest supers in the game. It's wow. um, around two frames, if I remember correctly. But uh, another important aspect of that target combo is that if you hit an airborne opponent with that, they spin. <sighs> they spin like idiots. But unfortunately, you have better things to be doing. So yeah. So yeah, this target combo really good. It's nice to know it. And that command normal, very very good. Yeah, this command normal is really far reaching. The problem is you have to remember that this lags much more than your normal medium kick. So if your opponent knows you're going to poke with it and they jump at you, they will have enough time to get a jump in on you. 
and you will get punished for it. So throwing out these normal medium ones are a good bait sometimes because it's still good. It's still yeah, good it, it, they look so similar. Yeah, it, it, they, they pretty much are similar. They're like exactly the same. I think Capcom was lazy or something, but the animation <laughs> is like exactly the same. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, so that's pretty much what you gotta know about, you know, pressure with it. Just, like, you know, stay on them, you know, with the, with the elbow. It's pretty, pretty simple, pretty easy to understand. Okay, so let, let, let's talk a little bit more about her super and just like uh, ways to combo into it and stuff like that. Okay, so Julia's super, it. as I said before, is two frames. That's faster than pretty much any normal in the game. This is like one of the fastest moves in the game. It, it's pretty, yeah, it's, it's great. And the great thing about this super is because it only hits once. It Well, it hits once and the entire thing is guaranteed to work as long as you juggle, you know, if you juggle into it, mm -hmm. it'll always work. So you don't have to worry about like juggling them wrong or something, you know, as long as it's possible to hit with a super, it'll all connect. If the first hit connects, then the rest is guaranteed to connect. So it's very good. It, the damage it does is pretty average for a super, but the important thing is that it's very fast. And because it's very fast, you can combo it off of like anything. You can go for some like, some, yeah. really, for some really absurd, you know, juggles and it'll, it'll still combo. Yeah, look at it restand them yep. on, on the and first it hit. And them. That's so good. So it's always guaranteed to work. And the important other thing about the super is that she launches forward very far. So this is both good and a bad thing. It's good because that allows you to punish things from very far away that you normally wouldn't be able to punish, which is good. The bad thing is that sometimes if you use it as an anti-air, she lunges so far that you just go under them. So you have to keep that in mind when using this as an anti-air. However, it, it still can be used as a pretty good anti-air if your timing's good. Because they jump at you and you just, you know, yank them out of the air with it. Mm -hmm. Although her cross art is a little better at that, just because it's a little... She doesn't go as far and it's a little bigger. But her cross art is really nothing special though. It's pretty vanilla. Mm. Not, not like this ridiculous super. So yeah. yeah. Other than other than that, like her super is only limited like by your own imagination, pretty much. You can like do whatever the hell you want with that. Like, like it combos off of like, you know, anything. Yeah, I bet you can do like close range roundhouse and it'll work. Yeah, that combo. I think that yeah, combo. I think that combo. Yeah, that combo. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about our close range roundhouse. Yeah, this is safe on block, and you can link after it. Pretty cool. See, come on. So pretty cool. That's nice to know. It's like your Dan or something. Yeah, and like I said, it's like that. You, if you can, if you can uh, do uh, that kind of stuff with her super, like I, I would say that she's probably the most dangerous when she has two two meters. Yeah, because Julia Julia actually hits fairly hard. Like, like, like her combos actually do an awful lot, especially when you factor in the super. The problem with Julia is, like I said at the very beginning of the video, is that it's hard to start combos with her. Right? So like you're just gonna have to play a lot of footsies, try to get in. The most important thing though, you have to try and knock down your opponent, so then you can start going for like shenanigans. Yeah, it sucks that her sweep is kind of meh. Yeah, it's really bad. It doesn't really set up for. Her. So her, the, her vortex very well. So the trick is gonna be getting that probably that command grab. Correct. The trick is gonna get this. Yeah. But the good thing the thing is that there are a lot of ways you can you know. Damn it. The important thing is to try to knock your opponent down, so then you can try to destroy them on their wake up. So an important way to accomplish this is to hit them with this. Yeah, this move because not only does this move do good damage, it's, it's probably gonna be your go-to combo ender, just because of the stuff you can do after. Now for a normal character, this is a really far distance, and there's no way that they can follow up after this. But you're Julia, and you cheat. So, <laughs> you can do that, and then just dash at them. And then, that this is where the, the main guessing game begins. We call this the Forest of Deception. The Forest of Deception, yeah. yeah. So basically, after you hit them with your opponent with that, you can you start doing different types of dashes to confuse them. and. So the main one is you dash at them and just do an overhead, a meaty overhead. So if they if they do any sort of move that's not invincible, they'll they'll get hit by it. They have no choice but to, they have to just block it. So that's a good option. Another good option is to do an empty dash into lows. This is very good and this is actually it's very hard to tell the difference between the two, that's why. Especially if you play online where it's gonna be like impossible. You would just have to predict. So a lot of Julia's damage, I think, will start will come from shenanigans like this, a bunch of mix-ups. 
Now, the important thing to do is what happens when your opponent rolls, and your opponent can roll out of this. So, oh, knock down recovery. Here we go. So if your opponent rolls, and you predict it, you can just do that and go for some like real silliness. That's really tricky. That's really disorienting. It's very disorienting. It's like, yeah. If you do it right, I think it only works on certain characters, but you can end up on the other side as well. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, see like that. Oh my very, god. Very, very deceptive. Oh wow. Very, very deceptive. So that, that, that's one of main Julia's main perks is that she's full of like a bunch of silly tricks. But yeah. that's the problem with Julia. I think she's like all a bunch of silly tricks. And people wonder why I get hit all the time. Yeah, because it, it, it's this is like the main way you, you pretty much destroy people. You, you just go at them. You, you knock them down and you just start going for like some real silly mix-ups. Like, let's assume they don't roll because most of the... After you condition them to stop rolling, they probably won't. <laughs> you can start going for real silly stuff like, you know... A, Ugh, stop that. You are going for real silly stuff like grabs and stuff. Oh, It's very cool. Yeah, once you train them to just block. Speaking that's, of which, that's, scary. that's another thing you can do in her block trains because, because you can cancel all of her stuff into wind rolls. You can go for some real silly shit. Like that. Yeah, because that basically ends the... It's like it, it can be like a combo extender or a combo like stopper. Correct. If your opponent blocks your target combo, if you want to be safe, normally you would just cancel and then just back away, you know? If you want to keep your offense, if you can, you know, try to elbow them, you know? And this is really good way to start your offense, but if you want to go for something a little more ballsy, you can cancel you can cancel your target combo into wind roll and try to, like, throw them or something. Or you can cancel into these. Now keep in mind that... That up punch right there is an overhead. <laughs> so if they, if they if you have them blocking low, they will get hit by that. See, it's an overhead. The, the, you have to block that high. So and then that's very that's very cool. So it's a way to catch them. You know, if, if they're mashing a punish, you can kind of catch them pushing buttons sometimes. Yeah, if they're mashing like crouch short or something. This is risky though. So this you should only do this if you're if you're certain you think they're gonna push a button or something. Mm -hmm. Because Going for something like this is actually unsafe. They can actually, if you try to throw them or hit them, they actually have enough time to punish you. So be, you know, be careful. If you try to like swing at them, they can punish you. However, this is pretty safe. So you can do this whenever you feel like it. You know, if you just want to like mm -hmm. keep hitting them. And I guess one of the things to note about Julia also is that she's one of the only female characters with a lot of life. Yes. So um, she can she like can take risks. Yeah, she's the only female character in the game to have like thousand, thousand life, I think, which yeah. actually makes her have, puts her around the same life as like Ryu and stuff. So she's a pretty big girl, you know. But then again, look at her. I mean, she's, she's big legs. She's tall. Yeesh. Yeah. So she she can afford to take some guesses. Yeah, you can afford to take some guesses. You don't bleed like you know like Xiao Yu does and stuff. So. Right. So yeah, the most important thing, like I was saying um, before, landing this. Your entire offense begins right there, whether it be through overheads or through it be empty dash into you know lows and stuff. Your entire offense can can get started through that. It also helps because then this move sends them you know flying, so it's a good way to corner them. I mean, the corner is your friend as well. Yeah, that'll push them to the corner in like two or three. Yeah, because of when those. you get them in the corner, you can just you know you just do whatever you want to them. Mm -hmm. So now her overhead is this overhead punch is worth mentioning because you can get huge damage combos off of that. I'm, I'm, pr I'm not going to explain how to do normal bread and butters with her because every player is probably going to have their own preference with that. Mm -hmm. So you can just experiment, you know, if you're the type that wants to, you know, you know, just do like lights and the mediums and stuff. Or you're, you're like me who just flails with target combos and just, you know, cancels into elbows and stuff. But off her overhead, you can do some very damaging combos that I'm going to explain here. Okay, so off the overhead, if you wait a bit, you let them crumple a little bit, and then you hit them with this, and then th that causes them to bounce. If you do it too early, though, you know, it doesn't cause them to bounce, so you gotta wait a little bit. And if you do it too late, it'll whiff? Yeah, if you do it too late, it'll, if you do it... Stop it, Julia. If you, if you do it too late, it'll just whiff all together. So, right when he's on his knees, do it. Well, maybe a little later. Yeah, like that. And he will bounce. Now this is a good way to start your combos because it leads into other things. 
So after the overhead, what the combo I like doing is this. The special move can be whatever you want at the end, but yeah. Basically, it's just an overhead, and then forward hard punch, and then you do forward medium punch into forward medium kick, this target combo. This is important because it launches them high into the air, which you, you want to juggle them. So, and then you hit them with fierce. And this combo does a, a really good amount of damage. And you can end it with a special move of your choice. Oh, so you can even end it with the reset. Yes. You can actually end it with the command grab thingy, which allows you to immediately start your offense again. Whatever it be. The force of deception is strong, man. Yeah. It, after you land overheads, it, it generally just leads into more shit, pretty much. Okay, stop it. Every overhead can lead into more fun. It's like, so that's really nice to know. Mm -hmm. The important thing, though, is that if you land a random overhead, you can essentially win the game. Like, if your opponent's at half-life, you can pretty much just execute them right there, just by doing tons of damage, like so. I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah. Stop that. You can just do tons of damage, like so. Yeah, like, if, if you if you catch them and they're, like, yeah, if, if they, they guess wrong once or twice, that could be the game. Yeah. Because the important thing is, you won't land many of these overheads, so you gotta work hard, condition your opponent to block, block low. And then when you hit them with the overhead, you have to make them pay, you have to do tons of damage to them. And again, this combo right here does so much. That overhead is basically happy birthday. Yeah, that overhead is happy birthday. It does so much. And if you really want to um, knock them out, you could always, you know, you could always just go into cross art, which will do even more depending on your partner. If you have Hugo or something, yeah, that's going to do an awful lot. Or this man. Or this guy. Yeah, Paul does a lot. See, that did 600 damage off a random overhead. And that's just huge for a character like Julia. Against a weaker character like Ibuki and stuff, that's essentially two-thirds of their life right there. They, yeah. they just did off a random overhead, so they may think they're safe, but then you just completely kill them. Mm -hmm. And the important thing is that even without meter, these combos still do a healthy amount of damage, and it allows you to continue your offense. How much meter does that combo build? I don't know, actually. Let's take a look at it. Yeah. So let's see, random overhead. It doesn't build too much meter. It builds about half of one. So that's still fine, though. Yeah, for but what most, it of, does. most of Julia's combos will build like well, most of Julia's combos build about half a bar of meter, maybe a little more if you do this one. Mm -hmm. Is this this combo's pretty silly looking? So <sighs> yeah. See, the important thing about Julia, I think, is just to get the knockdown and just try to shenanigan them to death from there. Getting them into the corner helps them, helps you a lot, because then you can kind of just, you know, poke them for free. Yeah. And if they jump at you, get them. And keep in mind that, you know, uh, there's probably a lot of high-level players that play Julia differently, maybe. But this is just our take on the character. So, uh, just take our advice for what it's worth. Yeah. I mean, if you can find a playstyle with her that's different but works better for you, then by all means, go for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Because we're not here to tell you what to do. We're just saying what we think is best. Because yeah. we're not high-level players by any means. We're just a bunch of guys who like playing this damn game. No, Raisin is very high-level. The highest. Honestly, he's probably better than most of us <laughs> at this point. But yeah. So yeah, we just yeah. went over most of the things that I find important. So yeah, pretty fun. So yeah, that's, that is uh, our In The Lab video with Julia um, we are basically wait for those of you that are wondering why we haven't done more of these a lot of us are waiting for the DLC characters yeah <laughs> because a lot of our teams revolve around a character that's coming out soon yeah. so because I'm actually a, a Sakura main that's why so mm -hmm. having having to use Julia is kind of like well yeah she's my favorite Tekken character but I would really like to use Sakura as well yeah because Mega Man uh, yeah, I actually use Mega Man, and yeah, he's very, very horrible. <laughs> he, he's fun, but he's like a ghetto Ryu. He's really horrible. Yeah. But yeah, so be on the lookout for more videos from us uh, as this game uh, gets DLC. But until then, thanks for watching. Thanks again, Chad, for your help. No problem. And we'll see you next time. Yep.